Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks, and a great month, June 6th. Here we go. Surrender and let go of the past. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you, feel, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy, enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. That's an amazing card, folks. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 158, Nasdaq off 25, S&P's off 9. Gold, gold contract up $8.10, trading at 1977 an ounce. We have silver down 9 cents at $23.65. Light sweet crude up 26 cents, $72 flat, notes and bonds. The 10-year note down up two ticks, rather, 113.29. The 30-year flat at 127.30 and king dollar. King dollar flat also at 104.015, Euro 107, Yen 139, the British pound 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, let's go to the uh, E-minis first. So... We take a look at the E-minis here. You know, it's been a sideways day, folks. The amount of energy that got taken out of the marketplace on Friday, that was a huge day. You know, we're going to have Tim Ward on it uh, Monday. I mean, uh, the first break. We'll see what he has said about that. But I suspect that's going to be another sign of strength. You know, the intraday out here in the E-mini, you know, you just uh, you, you came down about 10 points. You know, you flipped back around just as quick. Well, not just as quick. You're down to... You came down to the 42.73, and then we just basically have tested it again. What's holding this up now is right across, if you want to see how this works, this is what's crazy. You're going to see just a little bit lower at uh, 47.69. You can get to that 47.69 for sure. That's where one of the, at 9, at 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday, that is where we, we excelled up. Now, this is what's wild, folks, okay? You know, and on Friday, I was saying this, actually, that I, I felt the market was going to keep running because, you know, the bottom line is that you get a shot week, you know, bottom line, you're window dressing all of the above. And then it just kept going with no volume whatsoever. So this is the first time. This is the test of that area. That's what's going on here. That's what's coming down. It's coming down for that test. So bottom line, looks like it's going to be a successful test. We go to the NQs, well, and then we go to the SPY. So if we go to the SPY, you're going to have shot volume out here today, no doubt about that. You know, we went over the high. I suspect it's going to, you know, basically close a little bit lower. It, the SPY's down a point and a half right now. You know, but it's going to, you know, bottom line is that the, the next swing point is 431. I suspect it's going to go after that 431. We take a look at the three Qs, same type of setup in the three Qs. Uh, the differential in the Qs is that the contraction of volume is pretty dramatic. You know, we're at 30, 38 million right now. You know, we, we did 53, which is a, which a, which a contraction period, because what we were doing is 72. So you went from 72 to 53. Now, today we'll probably do about 48. And, you know, you're not holding price. And when you start seeing those smaller price spreads, that's saying that, you know, we can very well get a pullback. We go into the gold contract. What do we have with gold contract? Gold contract, you know, came down to the area of, 17, uh, 17, 19, 53 today. It did reject lower price there. Right now you're at 1977. It has lighter volume, so there's a little consolidation in here. Now, you got to remember something, that the gold contract isn't a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. This would throw it into a complex ABC structure. So we'll see how that worked. You know, we had broken the B point with volume. We got above it again. We came back down again. Friday was the down day with volume in a monster way inside the gold market. So I suspect, you know, we'll see. We'll see how that shakes out. And we get to King Dollar. Well, no, no, but notes and bonds. Notes and bonds, my, my take, folks, okay, this is kind of a, a conviction also, is that higher price, lower uh, yields are coming at us. You know, what you had out here today, we did 1.2 million contracts in the 10. You got to 113.10. You're at 113.29 right now. If I take this and I put this TY, and I put this on a generic chart, 
just so you can, what a generic chart does, folks, is tie them all together simultaneously. TY1. And, whoops. There we go. We put this on a monthly. Let's do it this way. Let's do it on a weekly for three years first. Okay, you can see in a weekly with three years, what you have is this. You actually have, at this point, we have one, two, three higher highs and three lower lows. My take is that rates have picked up. And what has also happened here is this, is that this is going to be really wild if that's the case. You know why, folks? Because the market it, it picked up on this last October. I, I, the 4%, the 4.2% in the 10 was last October. So that's pretty intense. But you can see... You know, if you're a trend follower, this is a trend. This is a trend, and that trend is saying that, hey, guess what? We're going up. And then what it also does is that we actually did break the trend, and we did that all the way back in, um, yeah, November. And so the next stop up here, or where it's going, is 122. And then if we take, if we go and we take a look at the 10-year right now, the 10-year is at 3.6. You take a look at this for the last three months, you can see it's 3.9 is the high, but then we take it for six months, you're going to see the 4.0, and I believe that's the number, you know, for, no, 4.2, over six months ago. That's, that's what's going on there. 4.2, you know, was the high, two, look at that. It was a 2%, from the high to low, last 12 months is 2%, folks. That's amazing. So six months, we're talking 3.3 to 4. Pretty wild, then. Let's... And rates make, make a difference. Rates make a monster difference, period. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 135. NASDAQ's up 17. S&P's up 5.5. We'll come right back.